<clears throat> so I'll tell you right off the bat, I feel this situation certainly involves finances. Um, it can involve maybe a work situation. It can also involve maybe some investments that you have made and that are going to be analyzed and reviewed this month. What I'm seeing is it looks like in the beginning of the month, you really focused on uh, new opportunities, new endeavors, new financial prospects. Um, so if you're looking for maybe a promotion or a new job, um, I see you working towards that at the beginning of the month. I feel that you have worked hard on creating the foundations and the credentials necessary for the type of employment that you're looking for. Um, if this is a new business venture, then you have worked hard to um, create a strong, stable beginning and foundation to build your business upon. And I feel that at the beginning of the month, however, even with these credentials, you may be having uh, trouble because um, you're really fighting off. Um, I feel like you're fighting off bad energy or bad, um, bad opportunities that may be coming your way that you know that you're more qualified for and you're not getting you know, the type of employment that you're, that you're seeking, you're, uh, maybe they're not offering you the amount of money, um, you feel that you deserve for your credentials. Um, also I feel like you're fighting off bad energy, such as negative thinking. Um, you're having a hard time accepting that these opportunities, um, aren't, just readily available um, and that they're not presenting themselves in the beginning of the month. I see you being a little sad about it and feeling a bit hopeless. And you're really wondering, you know, when are these opportunities going to happen for me? I see you analyzing your past. Maybe you're analyzing your credentials now and you're questioning, did I go to school for the right thing? Um, did I work in the right fields? Is this where I truly want to be? And you're also trying to analyze where you want to go from here and how you're going to use your experience to gain the type of employment or new business venture that you desire. The justice card comes in here to say, and we also have temperance, okay? So what this is telling me is the cards are telling you to have patience and don't think so negatively and don't be in such a rush. You are where you are currently for a reason. It's not permanent. It is a temporary space, but there is something to be learned and something to be gained from where you are presently. I feel that towards the end of the month, there may be a water sign such as a Scorpio, a Pisces, um, or a Cancer that presents some type of um, offer to you. And this offer is very healing and therapeutic for you. It's as if now this opportunity is coming in and this person is sharing with you their wealth. It can be their wealth of knowledge. It could be offering you a new type of employment, um, sharing their, um, sharing their business with you or, or, um, you being able to use this person as a reference to move forward. And the overall energy for the month, again, is the Four of Swords. So what this is telling me is you really need to relax. Don't be so anxious and don't be so worried that things aren't going to work out because they are going to work out, but you need to be patient and allow the natural process um, to flow. Um, don't, don't be so defensive and don't be hopeless because there is new opportunities coming for you towards the end of the month. <clears throat> I'm going to use my Vera Sevilla cards, Italian Oracle cards to gain some more insight on this reading. 
I've had some questions regarding this deck. I'm going to show you the box that it came in. Um, I have not seen an English version of these cards, but they do have a little booklet that it comes with that explains the cards. And they do have an English as well as a Spanish translation to go along with the Italian. Um, so let me just see what we have here. I'm going to look at the King of Cups, and let's see if we can get more insight into who this is, or if there's any uh, additional messages tied. He is someone that <clears throat> maybe you've known or that you've worked with in the past or presently. He can be someone that is close to home, so maybe it's a sibling, a family member, a spouse. They're presenting you with this new opportunity because this is the baby, Bambino, new arrival and the last card is the precious present so i really feel like this person's coming in to offer you some opportunity let's look at the seven of wands to see if there's any additional messages tied to that card <laughs> yeah so what it's saying is you're worried about your security right now you're worried about your security you're on the lookout um, you're looking out, this woman's looking out into the ocean and she's like waiting for something to come in. And this card speaks to delirious people. So it's like you're so anxious for a fresh start or a new beginning or a new job that um, you're acting a bit delirious. And the cards are telling you, calm down, it's going to be okay. You are going to have new opportunities. Um, lastly, I'm going to look at... This Five of Cups to see if there's anything more we need to know. We have <clears throat> La Superbia. This speaks to confidence. Sacerdote, this is the male priest. And Amore, love. So I feel that you are sad because your confidence has been affected. Like I said, you have the credentials. You've worked hard to get where you're at. And you do deserve the job or the opportunity that you seek and desire. Um, <clears throat> but you are going to be in this space of the Five of Cups because you're not seeing the spiritual benefit to being presently where you're at. Um, but this card, Amore, in the future tense is saying to me that you are going to find employment or the opportunity that you will love and you will enjoy. Right now you're in this space where you're in a, you're in like a, a transitional period. It does have its spiritual benefits. So be patient, as the cards have said, be patient. Um, you should be confident. You are confident. Continue that confidence and know that it's going to pay off for you. Okay. Now I'm going to take a Oracle card just to gain some more clarity and insight on your reading. This Oracle deck is called Oracle of Visions. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck, beautiful imagery and art on these cards. And the messages are equally as beautiful. Card number 15. This is a woman dressed very eloquently. She has a red rose in her hand and a letter in the other. It looks like there's birds behind her in flight flying in the same direction as she is facing and walking towards. And let's see what the message is with this card. Farewell, goodbye, closure. Um, it has a quote in here from William Shakespeare. Forever and forever farewell. If we do meet again, why shall we shall smile? If not, then this parting was well made. This card portrays a farewell, which might be a final parting or a temporary goodbye. A tragic loss or simply a turned page could be leading to a new future. The woman's sober expression gives us no clue as to the context of her envelope. A farewell message, yes, but once received or to be given. The rose suggests a possible lover's separation, but it is a final goodbye but is it a final goodbye or a temporary one until next time? Either way, as any 
part seen will demonstrate departure lounges tend to be sadder than arrivals. The birds flying in the background suggest that a return is in the future. Our lives are a constant flow of farewells to people, places, and things, some with regret, but some with enthusiasm as, as they are replaced with new options. Sorry about that. I was fumbling over that. <laughs> um, but basically, um, this could be saying that you are saying goodbye to an old employer or an old way of, of working um, or maybe um, an old business venture and you are embarking on a new journey. This could even say honestly that you're changing careers or you're looking at changing careers, saying goodbye to the old way that you used to do things. I think that's very interesting. And again, with the birds, we don't know if this means it's a temporary change or if it's a permanent one for you, but only you will know that. I don't feel this has anything to do with a love, separation, or departure because all majority of the cards we have here are pentacles. So this very much has to do with um, material world and wealth and abundance.